Welcome back to Elder Kings. So I've been looking around at what the uh, the tribunal can do for me, and Suthasil, I believe it was. Yes, Suthasil can give me a boon that gives me extra health and combat rating. So, yeah, sure, let's use it. Suthas mirror. So the sill appears before me, as if from out of nowhere. You have asked to be granted power. The sorcerer remarks, "I will not withhold this from you. I am, after all, a mirror." And this is what you seek, what you need. He casts a spell upon me and nods. Now you too shall be a mirror, reflecting all that is thrown at you. I give my thanks and so the sill disappears in thin air moments later. Plus some personal combat, plus one health, not bad. Uh, how long does that last for, though? 34.97? Uh, 10 years, alright, not bad. Although I am an elf, so 10 years is like 5% of my lifetime or whatever. Um... <laughs> So it's not gray, but it could be worse, to be honest. Right, so... Yeah, I'm still recovering from the damn flu that came through and just dicked everything over. Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. Yeah, the Argonians are taking full advantage of the damn flu. Because, yeah, they weren't ravaged by it, so they just have uh, an army while we don't. It's a bit of a problem, really. What are they even attacking us for, anyways? Uh, something Conquest of Sothasil. Okay. Well. Okay, the Tribunal's come to help us, thankfully. <laughs> well, I'm getting sick with something again. Let's see what it is this time. Nothing good, but... Oh, shit, I'm getting Siege Day. Nothing I can do about it now. Krondysis. Hmm. Krondice is a magical disease which consumes the victim's intelligence and innate magic uh, day by day. Unless cured, this will eventually result in death. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ooh. As I say, fortunately, I have a good uh, mage. But he's not good enough, evidently. And my son and wife got captured, eh? Hmm. Not much I can do about it, unfortunately. So I now have a claim. What kind of mercenaries can I hire? There's a decent mercenary group there. I have to remember that that mercenaries are a little more volatile than what I would like. But yeah, my main enemy has 710 soldiers. I suppose the chieftain of Thorn here has a lot of men, but... I'm not attack. Well, I am attacking him, but I'm not attacking him directly. I'm attacking him through his overlord, which means he shouldn't get involved. I think. I kind of forget how CK2 works, to be honest. It's been a while since I played it. If I want to be safe, I should grab the Hounds of Harloon. But if I want to be cheap, the Blackwater Bandits or the Pass Keepers would be pretty good. It really just depends if, do I think I'll win the war before the mercenaries will dick me over? I don't know. How much money does the enemy have? Can they hire mercenaries? Yes, they could. Oh, no. I might have to take the uh, most expensive mercenaries then, which sucks, but I don't think I have much of a choice. Yeah, most expensive mercenaries it is. Let's go to war now, shall we? Take back what's uh, rightfully mine. Alright, let's see. So what am I fighting against? I'm fighting against three different Argonians. And individually, they're all weaker than me. But together, they probably are kind of close. And that's kind of dangerous. You know, the problem is I seem to be taking quite a bit of attrition, maybe? I might just have siege events, to be honest. Excuse me? They... Event spawned! Oh, fuck off. That's really annoying. Alright. Mm, uh, so basically I just lose because the game decided, yeah, we're going to spawn soldiers. Fantastic. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, that army is just far larger. But it's shit. <laughs> Stupid lizards. Get the hell out of more when you lizard bastards. Unless it's in irons. Then you're free to be here. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think I should make my capital tier. Ash. Yeah, from what I know, tier is a 
major slaver city in Morrowind. And I think that feels rather appropriate for it to be my capital then. So yes, I need to purge. Get rid of the filthy Argonians. Yes, purge is allowed. Oh wait, I forgot about the fact that my council is about on it. It'll probably be for it though. Good. <laughs> I was afraid for a second there. Convert the province. Slaughter them all. I don't want any filthy Argonians here. Oh, and I even lost the uh, disease. Good. Um, and my liege wants me to end the plot to kill him. You know what? Sure, the plot isn't going anywhere. Fine. I'll stop trying to murder you. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Ask for help managing my titles? What? Why am I over my... Ah, yes, because I still own the lower areas. And I can only hold one area, really. That's quite shit, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's just give vassals to the subholdings then. And I'm not giving away the main province, though, because I physically can't, so... <laughs> At least not without losing it, that is. Yes, let's go down a business focus for a little while. Maybe debase the mints. Um... I really just wanted to base mints, to be honest. <laughs> I want money. I mean, Liege keeps wanting to buy favors for me. And I suppose if he keeps willing to send me money, then I'll be willing to uh, help him with his problems, yes. I lose greedy. Does Sap take them? <laughs> that potentially because uh, my capital is... <laughs> Argonian and such. Well then, very strange. Good. No more damn Argonians in here. Now I just have to resettle the province. <laughs> wait, 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 you're telling me that I can resettle the province f a major investment for five gold? You bet your ass I'm taking that shit. <laughs> Stormhold conquest of South of Sel now, eh? I don't really expect what you plan to do, but I guess you are slightly stronger. Because my liege is weak as hell and can't keep the damn thing together. Oh. Hey, debasing the mints. Fantastic. Yes, I will. <laughs> Money and prestige. It's a fantastic thing. Oh god, Argonians are here. Conquest of Mar, Sothasil, and also Sothasil. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about it then. Uh, it does suck that I'm being sieged out, but... Yeah, I'll just organize the expedition. That's fine. <laughs> I just won't be here. <laughs> oh. There's been a replacement in the leadership. You're still incompetent. Uh, but of course, slavery should be allowed. Especially against those filthy lizards. Ah, good. There's now a trade route, and I'm going to be making more money once the... Uh, damn Argonians leave. Uh, now you want to ransom my prisoner. Yeah, sure, whatever. I want to make more babies anyways. My daughter? Yeah, sure, I'll... Actually, now that she's expensive, you can keep her. <laughs> uh, I'm greedy. I'm not going to ransom out my daughter. That's expensive. Marion Ritteran, the old Archon of the Temple, died earlier today. One of the first actions his successor, Dravalil, took was choosing whether we were allowed to colonize Varnfell or not. Some top representatives have already arrived to let us know the decision. Varnfell is open to us. If we are in a greenhouse society, we will be able to use our clout and a large amount of money to petition the Arcan and let us colonize a small territory in Varnfell. If he accepts, we will gain new holding in the county we targeted. It will help us prosper and could lead to cultural change in the area due to displacement of the local tribal Ashlanders. Interesting. Yeah, I'll be taking my stuff back, thank you very much. Stupid Argonians. Yeah, problem solved. Perhaps you're not completely useless. Oh god, the Argonians are raiding me, son of a bitch. Yeah, there's not much I can really do about it, unfortunately. Yes, good job. <laughs> Fantastic. If they're gonna raid me, I'm just going to send, like, independent slavers into their lands. So that works for me. Damn Argonians. Now I have new administration and loot it. Fantastic. 
I'm going to enjoy enslaving them once I, uh, once I finally have an army. Unfortunately, though, there are so many problems going against me building an army. What the fuck? I've just been made the Grandmaster. Okay, that's a lot of events that are very similar. Um, I remember when I first joined the Council of House Dress. It feels like yesterday. But the countless missions I took, quests I fulfilled, and relationships I formed in my time here prove otherwise. I'm dedicating a long part of my life to my guild. I've been chosen to lead them as new guild master. Oh, why did I do this? <laughs> and I've got like five events that all look exactly the same. So yeah, as the Grandmaster, I can colonize Varnfell now. Hmm. Interesting, what else can I do? I can claim an Annex Greyhouse territory. I could convince to change his house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I could pressure other members for favors. And then, of course, everything that I've already had. It feels weird to be the Grandmaster. I, don't, I haven't really done anything to deserve it, aside from take back one of our provinces back from the Argonians. That's really about it, but all right. And I'm not even... Oh, no, I am the leader. <gasps> oh. Well, that changes things, definitely. Well, first of all, I'm moving my capital back to Tyr because Omavel is shit. <laughs> and what is all this shit? Uh, I can make an additional contribution to the temple. Why the hell would I do that? Yeah, I'll become a temple subject, sure. Like, six times over. Yes, and I will lead the, the house to glory. Okay, see, and I have a bunch of crap to fix. For one... Yes, I have to figure out succession. Fortunately, though, it seems like my son will take over on succession. That is good. Uh, any way that I can make him more likely to win the succession. Hmm. I don't know. Well, who isn't voting for him for one? And why aren't you? Stressed, greedy, stubborn, ugly. Can't really fix any of those problems, though, unfortunately. I mean, maybe if I were to give him a position of power, maybe I could. I've got some extra provinces here that could make him a border patrol against Argonia. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Son, congratulations, you are now going to be protecting our border against... Why are you not on my court? There we go, much better. Uh, really? Oh, the council's not full. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Why is my council empty? There, now can I give my son land? <sighs> Am I going to have to hire nothing but loyalists? Potentially. There we go. Now they're willing to let me give away the title. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Annoying bastards. Actually, is that going to prevent my... No, no, he could still be... All the stuff that I already assigned him to. Hooray for nepotism. Oh, I can make the Kingdom of Tyr, interestingly. Although it doesn't have any de Yuri lands, there's not much point in it. Although then again, if I happen to lose the House Dress title, then I will still have the uh, Kingdom of Tyr title. That's a pretty good argument for actually making it, actually. At least I shouldn't lose it. Um, well, with my newfound armies, let's go ahead and uh, go get some slaves, shall we? Oh my god, they're trying to counter-slave me. Those bastards. Yes, yeah, so let's show them to fuck off, shall we? Oh god damn it. Holy shit, that is a civil war right there. Alright, well, I need mercenaries because they just immediately have more men than I do. Fantastic. Hmm. Probably the best mercenaries to get. Uh, probably the Blackwater Bandits. Yes. 
Yeah, let's get them. It's a bit of a ballsy attack I'm doing, but they don't have any morale, so... It might be fine. Well then. Huh. That was unfortunate. This could be a problem. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, goddamn, I accidentally got rid of the uh, really good lizard. Shit. Hmm, not much? Hmm. Ugh, sucks. Oh, I call allies. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they crossed the river. Not a good idea for them. <laughs> 